I'm Joyce Kale Pester, the director of the Mahoney County Board of Elections. And I'm Tom McCabe, the deputy director. On election day, you're going to notice that there are some changes to the polling locations where you go to vote. And I think with the changes that have been made, it's going to streamline the process and make it easier for our voters and our poll workers alike on election day. We encourage you to vote on election day and remember, Every, Every vote, vote counts. counts. When you go to cast your vote on election day, you may receive a provisional ballot. When you enter your voting location, you'll go to the check-in table where you will be looked up in the electronic poll book. Make sure you present a valid form of identification. A current unexpired Ohio driver's license, a state of Ohio ID card, a U.S. veteran's military ID card, a utility bill with your current address, a bank statement with your current address, government check with your current address, a paycheck stub with your current address, or government documents with your current address. You will be issued a provisional ballot if your name does not appear in the electronic poll book or on the supplemental voters list, or your name is changed and you are unable to provide legal proof required to complete Form 10-L, or you've moved into your precinct and you did not update your registration with the Board of Elections 30 days prior to the election, or the electronic poll book shows that you have requested an absentee ballot, or that you've already voted a provisional ballot. A message in the electronic poll book states that a notice of election card was sent to you by the Board of Elections and was returned as undeliverable or you are unable or refuse to provide a valid form of ID, or you've changed your name and you moved into a different precinct without updating your address 30 days prior to the election, or your signature does not match the signature on file at the Board of Elections, or you've been challenged and the challenge has not been resolved against the voter. You will now receive a reason for a provisional ballot slip and you'll present it to the provisional ballot judge. You'll then receive a provisional envelope and you must complete the provisional ballot affirmation on the side of the envelope. You'll return the completed envelope to the judge and you'll receive your ballot. You will then be directed to a provisional voting booth and you'll vote your ballot. Place your completed ballot in the provisional envelope, seal it and return it to the provisional judge. Congratulations, your vote is very important. Every vote counts. If you did not change your address or change your legal name or are unsure of your voting location, you may vote a provisional ballot at the Mahoning County Board of Elections 30 days before election day. Go to vote.mahoningcountyoh.gov for days and times. As you can see, we have streamlined the process for voting at each location on election day. We hope you take the opportunity to use this process on election day. And if you have any questions, please call the Board of Elections.